Now I think we've talked about this before, but while I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with my work, I find it both fun and helpful to commission myself with different projects, you know, it really helps to push me outside of the box, test myself with new concepts and subject matter. So today I thought it would be a fun idea to try out uh, designing a poster, namely a poster for a film, which of course means that I need to come up with a film to design the poster for. Today's video is sponsored by Intel, who have provided this beautiful piece of equipment that has already transformed my creative process, and I can't wait to show you this all-in-one computer, the Microsoft Surface Studio 2, in action. You will be blown away. I mean, just, just look at it. I legit gasped when I took this out of the box, but enough of that. Serious work to do. As you know, the first step in any creative commissions or endeavours is usually the brief. We need to know the scope of what we're working on, any key imagery, themes, where the work will be used. But uh, in order to have a brief, my first first step will be coming up with the concept for the film, which should answer most of the questions that I just mentioned. We're hopping into Google Docs. For me, when it comes to writing anything, the best approach is to just start writing. Um, doesn't matter if it makes any sense. I could be thinking aloud, uh, I could be jumping back and forth. So I'm just gonna start brainstorming. While I'm at it, I'm also just going to have a look at some film poster examples, see if that sparks anything. Loving all this visual real estate, it really makes such a difference being able to have everything so crisp and clear in front of you, all the inner workings in your brain just bouncing back and forth. So yeah, I'm getting thriller vibes. I think there's a lot you can do with that. Something maybe a bit indie, a bit artsy as well. The type of film that would have an illustrated poster. Okay, so here's what we've got, quick summary of the film. A young artist in a dearth of inspiration lands a dream post as a live-in apprentice in the idyllic mace-like home of his hero, the famed and elusive sculptor, who I do not have a name yet for, uh, Jackson Hillier. So let's just put that in. Right. Where are we? While his initial work days are spent tidying the home's multiple sparse and minimalist studios, it isn't long before the demands from his, from his ever-absent mentor become increasingly obscure and disturbing. Torn between curiosity and unease, our young apprentice learns the cost of pushing the search for inspiration to its limits. Ooh, uh, not sure about the end of that description, but I can't get too deep into this, I'm not a writer, I am just trying to make a poster, not an actual film. So now we just need a name, so I'm going to look up some sculpting terms. Okay, let's see what we have got. Alabaster, quite like that. I do like that word, but I'm not sure how relevant it is to the film. Fifth Wheel, that, I didn't know that was a thing. Sounds more like a rom-com. Uh, oh, Scraffito, Scraffito. I like the sound of that. I think that's to do with like scraping back the surface of something to reveal kind of a relief design on it, scraping back the surface. I think that sounds quite relevant. Uh, yeah, you know what? We will go with Scraffito. I think that works well with our film. Now, while I was trying to come up with ideas for the story, um, my brain was gravitating more towards the imagery I'd go for. You know, I started thinking about birds and different colors I'd use and different, you know, how the poster would look in the end rather than having the story guide the imagery. Uh, with this story though, <laughs> I did just have the story in mind rather than the imagery, which is more how you would approach a brief like this. So you're given the brief and then your visual ideas will start to come to mind. Speaking of which, I did go ahead and start drawing up the brief. So the studio who've commissioned this poster are looking for a full-sized poster depicting the imagery and themes of the film, which is called Scraffito. Um, imagery should convey the tone of the film and entice potential viewers. Image should also include important text. And I've just got a summary of the film here, a few of the important visual elements and ideas. I've got uh, just three examples with, of visual references that I might kind of lean towards, and then some payment details and timescale and deadline just to make it a bit more realistic. Okay, another fun part. That honestly never gets old. But anyway, I'm in Photoshop now and I have a few ideas floating around of what I want to do, but I just want to flesh things out a bit more. Just something quick and loose. There was mention in the brief about 
brutalist architecture and the images provided also showed some like classic looking sculpture so I thought it might be fun to combine those like harsh edges um, of the architecture with the smoothness kind of nondescript nature of those really smooth marble sculptures maybe using like digital effects to kind of splice things together like splice the sculpture into the angles of the building I find the design of this computer so well thought out and beautiful I mean just being able to switch back and forth so smoothly from working in more of a drafting table setting or using it like a drawing tablet to just swishing back up to that upright position and what Intel have really added here with that performance factor that kind of versatility and ease of use not only enhance that user experience but actually inspire creativity by putting you in just the ideal environment for innovation and ideas here all in one I've been able to create an entirely new ways I can go from artist mode back to standard work mode except there is nothing standard about it anymore it's like enhanced work mode. For example when I'm editing video, editing photos I have this fantastic amount of space, this beautiful screen where I can have multiple workspaces in one and of course that processing power that you know so much about by now. Okay change of plan, I'm now thinking big imposing building that's like backlit um, with like a light shining out and a silhouette of a figure in the doorway. Um, someone that looks like they could be a person, but they could also be a statue. Maybe just in like a, an uneasy pose or standing on a podium. Uh, someone that looks really stiff, um, just something a bit creepy and then they would have like a shadow. And this is where we could incorporate that lovely brutalist architecture as well. And then we'd have room, of course, for the title up here, which was Scraffito. I mean, this might look like a jumble and a bit of a mess to you, but it makes sense to me and it'll make sense to you once it's all come together. I've been thinking in black and white this whole time. So I am thinking I will stick with that for the final piece of artwork, probably work in ink, maybe some colored pencil. And then what I'm gonna go in with digitally will be different tonal values. So I'm not gonna to worry too much about that. I think it'll be fun to play with texture and uh, gradients when I get it in here uh, digitally. So I think that this is actually enough to get started on the piece of art. Now since this physical piece of work was smaller than what was asked for in the brief, I have scanned it at a much higher DPI just so that I'll be able to scale it up and really edit it in detail. Um, I'm also going to be using Photoshop to play with like adding colours, adding texture, um, add the text and just layer on various different elements. The processing power here is incredible with the Intel Core i7 processor. I'm in Photoshop rendering multiple high res files with no trouble at all, all brought to life with this stunning 13.5 million pixel true to life colour display. It creates such an immersive creative experience with Intel's typical uncompromised performance. Thank you. 
okay, here we are. What do you think? Would you go and watch this film? You know what? I think for my first ever movie poster, not that bad. Massive thanks again to Intel for sponsoring today's video. This Microsoft Surface Studio 2 has revolutionized the way I work. When I'm in those like almost hyper creative moods, those, I don't know, tingly finger inspired moods, my hands are moving faster than my mind can moves. It's nice to know that I have a computer that can keep up with me the high performance that Intel brings to the table, as always, the driving force behind all of it. So if you want to find out more about this computer and Intel's latest innovations, there will be links below for you to do so. Otherwise, guys, I would love to know if you've ever tried to do your own commissions or if you're going to, what kind of theme would you follow? Uh, but otherwise, thank you so much for watching um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.